Recording in progress. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. A very good morning to my all fellow Toastmasters and future Toastmasters. I am Ashok playing the role of Sergeant at Arms. Uh, a warm welcome to the free chatter meeting number 5, uh, not 5, 9 of Nagar Bhavi Toastmaster Club. So being Sergeant at Arms, so I am the first speaker of today's meeting. Uh, so, Toastmaster, the objective of Toastmaster is, uh, it, it provides uh, a learning experience and supportive uh, for all the members which will increase our uh, communication <coughs> as well as our confidence. It increases our confidence. So, this is the objective of the Toastmaster Club. So, to run the meeting, in smoother way, we have some ground rules. Uh, try to avoid crosstalk in between the meeting and don't walk in and out while speaker is speaking. And be sensitive and mindful uh, so that it is not trespassed to the other beliefs. So, with this, I would like to call our next role player so he is an IT consultant and uh, he is a mindset transformation coach so it's none other than our, our Pradeep Shachos Master Pradeep Shachos Master Good morning Good morning Good morning Good morning Good morning Good morning being a presiding officer, I declare the meeting open for today, pre-charter meeting 9. Can you see a guest? Can we turn up? So we want an introduction, if it be good, if we can go through an introduction, a light introduction with all of us, please. Hello guys, my name is Pranav and I am the new member of Elevator Engineering Sir Toastmasters Club. So I recently got to that. So I am a chartered accountant aspirant and I have just recently uh, completed my BCom degree and I just want to go through the Toastmasters experience which is so highly uh, you know, talked about in our uh, chartered accountant society. So I want to experience the whole pros, cons, everything about Toastmasters and uh, this is my best friend Arvind and he got me into eloquence. <laughs> Each one of you can please introduce yourself. Hi, I am Ria and I am a business analyst for the Pension. And nice to see you all. Yeah. Yeah. So, me again? Yes. Okay, so I am Sonal and I am a Toastmaster for the last three years. I am a businesswoman by profession. Wow. Uh, I am Jayanti Shetty. I am from Digital Purpose Master. I am working as a product manager with Alice Solution. Wow. My name is Arun, I'm a part of Electrical Selections Toastmasters. I'm a key account manager at uh, Applied Campus. Wow. Hello everyone, I'm Pushpendra and I'm a software developer at Encompass. So my name is Pandi Rajan, so I am part of uh, Corona Toastmaster Club and we are at my Toastmaster Club. Uh, so currently I am working in Accenture as a application team leader. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a great introduction and I would just like to brief about the Toastmaster International. Toastmaster International is a non-profit organization especially related to education where we provide education related to public speaking, leadership skills and communication skills. We are based in Angel ENGEL Wood, that is in Colorado, and we have our presence in 144 countries with 14,700 clubs <coughs> across the globe and more than 3 lakh members across the globe. So we have a presence almost in many countries across the planet. And yes, we are proud to say that uh, very soon we'll be completing a century. 
So this was started by Dr. Ralph C. Smiley on 22nd of October 1924 and it was started in St. Anne that is YMCA club okay in California and he thought somebody you know uh, somebody had to raise a toast just like in wedding if you go to any Christian wedding or so they normally raise a toast and I could see I was brought up, brought up in Mumbai in a place in all the Christian community I used to go to their wedding and used to imagine well, what are they doing so they used to raise a toast and they used to give the wedding toast about the welcome, about who the bride is and all those things. So this was an initiative started by uh, Dr. Ralph C. Smiley and it was, it's going great and we are doing, you know, very nice right now. So this Nagarbhavi club as of right now is in pre charter Very soon it will be chartered with the help of all our, you know, members and all our seniors and we hope to be chartered very soon. So today, uh, Yesterday, the, the, the theme of today is positive thinking. Yesterday, I was in a competition that is the evaluation competition and at that time, I always, I always used to tell myself I am a very big positive thinker, positive thinker, but that was the time when I came to know how great I feel. I tell myself. Um, this is a Toastmasters meeting. Please. Yes. Please. Thank you very much. We have a guest. I request everybody to give a big round of applause. May you please introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Vishal Ditch. Vishal? Yes. And uh, I'm 19 years old. And I come here for the purpose of meeting people who are interested in learning public speaking and also doing this. Fantastic. So, are you into uh, Toastmasters? Have you joined Toastmasters? Ah, uh, no. Not yet. So, this is the first time you're coming? Yes. Okay, fine. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank can, you. Can I know what is the, can I know what is the theme of this whole meeting? Like, it is positive thinking. I not, listen. not, like uh, the whole purpose of this club that you have. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll just brief you about it. Please be seated. So, in the interest of guests, I will be repeating. Uh, about this club. So this club is called, I'm sorry there is no fan over here and you're feeling a little bit hot. That's fine. So uh, this is a Toastmasters club wherein uh, our main headquarters is in US, Angelwood, uh, Colorado. And the main purpose of this Toastmasters club which we meet every week over here at 10.30 a.m. Uh, uh, it is an international institution where it's a non-profit education institution and we teach public speaking, communication skills and leadership skills. So this happens every week and we have, have our presence in 144 countries. We have 14,700 clubs across the globe and also more than 3 lakh members. So uh, we are from different backgrounds like few are from business, few are from, you know, they are into IT and various other fields. We come here and we join here every week to learn more about the program. So I was talking about the theme of the program. The theme of the program is positive thinking and yesterday I had a great experience. I, I always say that I am a great positive thinker, good positive thinker, always positive. But yesterday I came to know how positive I am. When I was in the, you know, with all the other personalities, I think Madhu was with me and we all know how we share. So many, uh, so much of train of thoughts was going, negative thoughts. What will happen? Uh, will I be able to perform the moment I go there and will I be able to perform the best whatever I thought or whatever I practiced in front of the camera. But finally everything went through and uh, even at the last moment, because it, there was uh, so many things, all the participants were great. I understand they too must have passed through all that positive, negative thinking. But finally, I made through it and I, you know, got selected. So I stood first. In the <laughs> but what I want to tell you is that positive thinking takes practice. Like any other art, any other skills, it is not a one-day process. It takes. It's a continuous process where you keep working on yourself. So, uh, not taking much of your time, I would like to go ahead and introduce our uh, next speaker who is, will be the Toastmaster of the Day and the Master of Ceremony. Uh, she is a software engineer and um, also she is a uh, telecom engineer and a soft skill trainer. She is into the business, a family owned business for a century. So, that's very nice to know. She's a business woman. Wow, that's great. And she's also the finalist for the division evaluation that is table topic and international speech contest. The one more greatest thing is that she is the president of 
India's first club, which was started in 1991. So let's put our hand together and welcome. So So, uh, to take a little forward, Toastmaster Pradeep told us about how the movement came into existence, how it came into inception. Now, I'd like to take it a little further and say how it came into India, because we live in India and we have a club based out of India. So, it was in the year 1992, like Toastmaster Pradeep mentioned, it was distinguished Toastmaster Supramanyam Chitu, who recently passed away, who brought that movement to India and started it right here in Bangalore. So we are a very limited set of Toastmasters. <laughs> Our city, this beautiful city of Bangalore, led to the genesis of the movement in India. So all the other clubs in the country have to be grateful to us because we started it right here. And uh, so it is a moment of great pride for all of us. Now come to the positive thinking. What is positive thinking? It is about approaching life's situations, good, bad, not so good, with an optimistic attitude. And I don't refer to it as uh, ignoring the unpleasantness, but to approach it with positivity. Yes, do you have something to say? No, no, no. Yes. So that's positivity. So make any positive. I, I, when I saw Toastmaster Pradeep, I knew there was something positive about him the last time I saw him. And yesterday when we won, it came as no surprise for me because it was positive. And today I came late because I lost my way. And then I saw optimistic, I didn't, uh, I didn't lose my food. And I saw the meeting at my because I was not there. I mean, how positive is that? So this is a bunch of extremely positive people who want to see nothing but the best outcome. So it's picturing the best possible outcome for yourself, envisioning the best. And um, we have a few, way, a few ways of uh, being positive and the importance of positivity, but we'll discuss it as the meeting progresses. Now, a typical Toastmasters meeting has three different sections. The prepared speech section, the table topic section, and the general evaluation Could section. Could you repeat that one Yes. Pay attention, listeners. Prepared speeches, okay. table topics, okay. and the general evaluation. And uh, prepared speeches, I am going into all. So prepared speeches is a section where people come prepared with their speeches and deliver them based on project guidelines. The second is a table topic where people will be given a topic and you will be asked to speak impromptu. That is extrompo. That is without any practice. All right. And the third uh, section is the general evaluation session where the entire meeting is evaluated right from the beginning to the very end. And that is something that I would call as a factor of a meeting because you are going to be evaluated on how you perform and how you fail. And so today as our general evaluator, we have somebody who is uh, going to be, who is a very distinguished postmaster, who has, who is a leader par excellence in my opinion, a leader who does not use his power and authority, but he thinks it's, it's more like service. He's a servant leader, as you can say, he's been a past area director and a current division director with a huge amount of prosperity. Happen. So for that, I am not going to do alone. I have very 
good team, very energy and very insightful team who is going to help me for a very smooth meeting. Uh, so first I will call Toastmaster, the timer of the day, Toastmaster Uspender, about him, he is a growing uh, Toastmaster, very soon he will be one of the Toastmaster with us. Uh, just I call Toastmaster Uspender, please come to
I was super glad. Thank you. So thank you very much, Toshmaster uh, Madhu. So I motivate everyone if speakers speak, when the speaker using the bar, please uh, so that comes up. Uh, also use that bar in everyday in your life also. Uh, so thank you very much. I think today we have introduced one more role also, the role called listener. So for that I call uh, Toshmaster also for explain about what is a So this role is designed uh, or the objective is uh, communication is not always the speaking. So listening is also as equal as speaking. So, <coughs> so I will be uh, noting down some points uh, with all your uh, speeches. So I will put it in front of you and ask so that uh, uh, you can give the correct answer for that. So whenever called by the uh, general evaluator, I will Yeah, it's a very difficult, uh, one of the more than communication speaking English, uh, it's very difficult to listen uh, more than 5 10 minutes even in a presentation, wherever it is. But this role, I think, uh, it really helps club member, Toastmasters, so full awareness about the whole meeting. So, yeah, I'm going, looking forward how the people are listening uh, each and every second. So, with that is my, uh, I will come with uh, an idea for speech evaluation also that I think that team only will introduce that evaluation so he will explain about what is the role. So, thank you very much, all the very much for speaker. I am looking forward to a very energetic meeting. Uh, now, I call those first OTU. Thank you. Thank you. We will now, without delay, go into our first section, that is the prepared speech section. And we just have one speaker for today. And before I introduce the speaker, I would like the speaker's evaluator to read out the project guidelines of the speaker's speech. Toastmaster Adam. So the speaker today, Toastmaster Adam, will be attempting his I2 project to the I2 project. The purpose of this project is for the member to learn about the different communication styles and identify his or her primary style. The other purpose of the speech is for the member to share the impact of his or her style to others. That I wish you all the very best at home. Thank you, sir. The timing of the speech is 5 to 7 minutes. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Our first speaker for today is an aerospace designer. Oh, yeah. we just have one, no? Oh, yeah, he's not the speaker. Okay. So, the uh, only speaker for today is, uh, again, he's already been introduced today. He's, uh, he's a mind coach. He's an extremely positive individual. I, I think he's already been introduced very eloquently. So, without uh, uh, taking away anything from that, I would like to introduce our newest evaluation champion, <laughs> Toastmaster Pradeep Shetty. Don't confuse yourself initiating with chasing. Initiating is something different and chasing is something different. When I went through my project in the Toastmasters portal, I came to know about the different communication styles. I have an acronym for that which says DIAS. D I A S. So D stands for direct. My daughter, she has an exam in another few days. I think it's on 17. I knock at the door <laughs> and open the door. And I know, as usual, we see in all the TikTok videos, the moment a parent goes inside, the mobile goes down. She has a habit of laying her pillow and she sits on top of that she starts her work and she does her work. It's been doing for a child. She's comfortable with that. So the moment I go inside, I ask her, Mani, what are you doing? How is your studies going on? Nice, Papa. She calls me Papa. In father, in Arthuru, we call this Papa. And she says, 
Nice work, huh? fine, good. Okay, how is everything? I hope you are focused because direct communication, they are very focused, they are result oriented, they are goal oriented. And she says everything is fine. I know she must be playing with the, I mean, the phone, but I don't see it on the top, so I don't mind. I say, okay, fine, and I go back. The second style is initiative. And I score the highest in that, so that is my style, initiative. So I love taking initiation. You just give me one project, any project pertaining to my goal. If I love that, I'm going to take it up and lead it to completion. That's what I, that's I am known for in my circle. Just few days back, one of my friends in my Toastmasters club, CND Toastmasters club, she got the star of the month award. And I went ahead and you know clicked on that saying, congratulations. Even in the social media and even on a WhatsApp group, she, she liked it. And one more thing which I like of one of my colleague friend, whenever I post anything in the social media, I have a Toastmaster Imran, he's from Dhaka, Bangladesh. He goes and clicks here, pretty high. One like. So I just love that. So the moment a thing is posted, now this is about the social media and this can be applied to any fields, my dear friend. The third type of Communication style is analogy. 5th of October, Dasra in India. It's my holiday. 11, 10 p.m. Tick, tick, tick. And suddenly there is some exchange of chat going on in Teams because in the corporate we use Teams as a chat medium. And I can see a continuous chat going on. I'm off, I'm on my phone, I'm looking into my phone and I can see that, you know, just like a hockey or table tennis game going on. And I see that one of my colleagues who was supposed to take my responsibility, I've given him everything. And he tells at the last moment to my vendor who is on site to work on my work which I was supposed to do and given it to my senior, he says, I don't know about it. I ping him, I say, do I need to log in? And he says, Pradeep, you need to log in. Now, this was a very dicey situation. I could have raised an escalation for this. So both of us would land in a suit because the US people will always give preference to the US guys. And I know what would be the consequences. I kept silent. I said, okay, I'm logging in right now. The later I came to know that he had to drive his two kids to the dentist to Dublin and he had an appointment. Now this or this, he was in a dicey situation. Looking into that, I took the decision that I need to log in and let him free, let him go and do the work which is very, very important to him. Maybe in his case, if it was my daughter, I would have done the same thing to him. I left him go and then finally, I was silent and thought to myself, yes, it was a good situation. Everything went cool and I thought I would log out in 30 minutes. It went up to 2 a.m., my dear friends, 2 a.m. in the morning. It happens. Sometimes when you take responsibility of something, you really don't know as to what time you need to do until and unless that is completely done. The final one is supportive. The way I interact with my friends or colleagues, I cannot interact with my wife. Once I go home, I'm silent, I'm relaxed, I'm calm. Otherwise you know what happens, right? You might not get your breakfast. You might not get your dinner, my dear friends. So I be silent, I be cool. I don't get my outside stuff inside or neither out, inside stuff outside. So I be silent, I be relaxed. So that is my communication style. As much as possible, I don't talk about my office and everything because they know in two years, they know what I've done, right? Again, I'm at the dinner table, I'm running for my meeting over there. So all these things happen. Stephen Covey said, you start, for starting anything, always keep end in your mind, my dear friends. End is very important. Always go forward and take initiative for any projects. Irrespective whether you have that capacity to do or not, it's a very important value. It is a very important skill if you can learn. Just go ahead and take that initiative and automatically things will fall in place. Like, if you want to climb up to the seventh floor, you, know, you just have to take the first staircase, one, two, just take that and you will reach. I wanted to drive from Mumbai to Pune. I started my car 
night, my client called me, he said, be here at 11 p.m. I started my car, seven o'clock, and I knew my, my headlight, the, I mean, you see, the car headlight would go only up to 50 or 100 feet. But still, I drove, and as I went further and further and further, I reached my destination, and finally, I was in my destination, my dear friends. So please, whenever you get an opportunity, don't see that whether I'll be able to go if I take an initiative, a reach or that, but always have in mind that you just need to start for anything. Because in India, and almost many people are facing, what is the problem? The starting problem. And people have people need to have a push where you know the law of inertia which says if a body continues in motion will be in motion and one which is stopped will keep, keep remaining stopped. So my dear friends, my only I want all of you my advice is to take action, whatever it is, keep moving ahead. So moving the first move. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now coming back to positive thinking, uh, what, why, why is it important for us to be positive? Why is it important for us to think positive? Would you like to answer? Is it to think positive or is it to be calm? Positive thinking. Uh, in being calm is also the same thing. In all situations, if we were to be calm, then it is easy for us to actually be able to navigate that situation in a better manner. So if we, if we are too excited or if we are too anxious in a particular situation, then we will not be able to navigate that situation effectively, will we? Yes. So instead, maybe instead of positive thinking, maybe we can just do thinking, calm, to just be calm. Okay. And then maybe we can just navigate the situation in a more effective manner. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vishal. He, he associates uh, being calm with positive thinking, mm -hmm. but excitement can be used positively also. Ah, yes. Uh, anybody else? Importance of positive thinking. Yeah. So positive thinking is always uh, important when you are leading the team or something. Uh, so if you are the leader or someone, when you are if you're thinking very positive only, so other people also will have some strong. Even something is going wrong also. Okay. As a person, I think you need to think, you need to motivate, okay, uh, things will happen automatically. Whatever is going, it's fine. So, suppose if you are missing the train, yeah. it's okay, fine. Maybe it will help us. Yeah, so what uh, Pandey is essentially saying is, unless you are motivated, you cannot motivate your team. So you need to be positive, you need to be motivated and inspired. And unless your cup is full, you cannot go to somebody else's cup. Anything else, Ajahn? Uh, positive thinking has many solutions. If you don't have... Give me one brief thing. Importance, importance of positivity. Yeah, that's what I mean. We can explore many solutions with positive thinking or positive mindset. Okay, so you can think creatively, come up with creative solutions. We have a solution. We have a solution for positive. Yeah, so when you think positively, you get creative solutions which can solve most of your problems. Anything, Madhu? Generally, I have a choice to think negative consequences and positive consequences. You can make a habit. So if you train your mind to always look at the optimistic side of it, you you see a better outcome. And inevitably, the result will also be for optimistic from this side. I think there lies a challenge in terms of you know thinking positive, and uh, what makes it easier is the perspective that we you know try to look at the, the bigger lens that we look at. So she's saying positive thinking would help you look at newer perspectives. Which will make life easier and navigate situations easier. And Jayati? Uh, positive thinking. Uh, Importance of positive thinking. Yeah, uh, it actually gives a different path to achieve that. Uh, yeah, different path to achieve or any goals. So it gives her a different route, more alternatives. Right. At this point, I think I say that with the world being so depressed and all the people being so pessimistic, we should be, we should have this positive thinking, or else we be born, we be at the end. At this point, even uh, we've lost hope for humanity. And so, just to be human, we need this positive thinking. Forget about all the these things. And all. So I'd say I go uh, go a step forward and say it would be harbinger of joy or hope. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was doing research about this for today's program. It says that positive thinking, being happy, it uh, increases your immunity. So even when a person is in the ICU and you say positive things to them, you make them, you uplift them, there are better chances of recovery. So it helps you in 
uh, recovery, immunity, keeping your st state balanced. So that's important, especially in uh, times like COVID. It's very important. I think, I think throughout our life, you know, we have many challenges, many good things that are you know, all those things like that. But often, how far we progress in our life depends on how much we believe in ourselves and believe in our success. And if you don't have a positive outlook, you give up way quicker than if you do. Which means what you when you would reach if you had a positive positive thinking would be much farther than if you had a pessimistic outlook to life. So it's a catalyst for success. Yes. Yeah. Push me. So I believe in Murphy's law, yeah. which says if you whatever you think it will go, it will become a reality. So if you do positive thinking, it will become a reality. Like if you think in a pessimistic way, that will also. So it's better to go in a positive way, right? Yeah. So do you have a choice? You have a choice to think positive or negative. So why not think positive and make your life happier and easier and calmer? Yes. So on that positive note, we will go to our second section of today. And to conduct this session, we have with us a project manager who works in Tally Solutions Private Limited. She enjoys gardening and cooking. With a huge round of applause, please help me welcome on stage. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Table Topics. Wow. <laughs> Are you all excited? Yes. yes. And I keep 
visualizing it again and again. Because it's being said, whatever you visualize, your subconscious mind doesn't know whether it's real or it's you know, you're faking it. So in the world they say, fake it until you make it. So I try to you know, play that game whenever I'm going to sleep, just like going from a beta state to the alpha state. Like you are reading a book while going to sleep and you drowse off and go to sleep. That is the time I program myself for another three to five years. I see myself as a TEDx speaker and by 30th of June 2030, I keep telling to many people around and they keep smiling and they say, hey Pradeep, what you will get? I tell them, I'm going to get a Gulfstream ER650 12-seater chartered plane and I'm going to do it at any cost. <laughs> that come what may, I'm going to do it. So I keep telling people, that is my success. I'm going to take my father to a world tour. I have that dream. My daddy is, my father is in his 80s, not doing that good, but still. Uh, that's my dream to take my dad, my wife, my kid, my close friends, or a few people have already booked with me. So that is a dream and success for me. Please take me. <laughs>
this this was the time when I was in second year of engineering and everything just seemed going above my head and all the capacitor, resistor and inductors were way too intimidating and it would scare me at night and this point I hit the lowest and at this point I also had met with an accident and this is when I got a break and I got to think that if this is the lowest that I can go, there is nothing that can go worse. I am already at the bottom, nothing can go wrong or worse than this. And this is when I took some time off and I realized why don't I finish what I started and maybe after that I can think about the next. So this was my lowest. And to everybody out here, if you're about to give up and if you're about to, you know, if you're standing at that watch and about to give up, I say don't. Take a call, but make sure you have no regrets. Thank you. Thank you, Ria. Now I would like to call uh, Toastmaster Manu.
Then I transferred to CBS, you know. I was like, hey, why Chante? I know I can do anything every day, you know. So then I was like, how do I stay motivated? Interesting, interesting question. So even my friend Arvind, I don't know, we are best friends. So uh, even he was writing his second music. So what we were doing to you know, stay motivated was exactly when everyone used to, you know, go uh, sleep at 10 o'clock and you know, they have this mindset, I have to wake up early morning, 5 o'clock. So exactly at 10 we used to meet, we go, you know, we used to go on long walk, you know, in Kannada we say, my mother always says this, Par ketta kompada. <laughs> Interesting part, you know. But the craziest part is, this is what kept me motivated. This is what the positivity is all about. We always connect to the people around us. You know, especially for me, I get influenced by the people around me. Their energy flows right through me. You know, it is tough to explain it to other people. And we used to have sting, you know, the sting, the advertisement food, you, you know, drink. We actually used to, I actually used to do it in my friend of mine. I used to do it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, come on, now I'm motivated, come on. So that's it guys, just go in, you know, come, Aram, say with your friends, enjoy the partners. Thank you, thank you very much. I think the yeah. energy got uh, yes. transferred. Yes, Now the most important in my opinion, the way 
ways to be positive, the ways to think positive. So what are the ways? Conscious, to train your subconscious to think positive. Like how Pradeep would say. Yeah. For me personally, at that time, like what Kana did was highly positive. Yeah. Like he just energized the room. Not just, yeah. he just energized it. Just being yourself is also positive. And then we, like meditation. 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 Yes. yes. Being yeah, physical exercise also. You want to do so? No, being calm. Being calm. Well, that is through meditation and music. Music, yes. listening to music, uh, dancing to music, playing music, singing music, anything else, Pushpendra? Normally, for me, running works. Running and exercise helps a lot. Uh, exercise, physical activity, yeah, they really something called as endorphins, which are happy Reading books. Reading books. Different mm -hmm. things to different people. Think about our childhood memories. Childhood memories, go out with friends, go out with spouse, uh, you know, play with pets. Yes. Play with pets, they're very, very rejuvenating, they replenish you. So there are many ways to be positive. So what works for you may not work for me. I cannot meditate. I cannot meditate. I'm a hyperactive person. So different things work for different people. So figure out what works for you and incorporate in that life, in your life, and stay happy and stay positive. And on that note, I would like to pass on the lecture to Pro Division Director, Toastmaster Pandira. Whatever I think is, whatever he done good, 
Okay, so you can explain more about what he really done. So why I am telling he has done lot, lot of good things. Okay, probably I think lot of people never did. So people can understand okay, what he really done. So that will be really helpful for uh, guest or as a speaker also. That is the one thing I think you can utilize as you have for three and a So you have more than one, one things. Uh, yeah, the one more thing, uh, don't give for that. Uh, before you start, okay, always uh, when the big uh, expert is uh, me. So our your speech objective about the, the only the particular speech. I am not criticize, but I am just yeah. general feedback for each and every year. As this club, I think we are starting a club for a lot of new, newcomers. Yeah, that's the thing. So no need to mention I think about the previous speech about me. so only for speech. Apart from actually, this is my opinion only. Uh, okay, so for you, uh, Pradeep, I really like that speech. Uh, uh, your transition is pretty good. Uh, about we can understand about a different style of uh, uh, communication. So probably people used to do what people used to do mistake. They will offer very uh, theoretically about tell about uh, that different way. But you deliver with your own example, like your personal life. You started with your uh, daughter and how that one. So I it's really interesting actually. Uh, so from my point of view, what could be better? You may give you proper little bit pause. Actually, you are a very good speaker. Uh, your, I think the words are coming very fluently and very fast actually. But certain point of time, I feel for too much on, on that. Uh, so probably that uh, that particular area you may work on that. So apart from, I completely agree. Uh, it's a nice speech. I agree with the, the point of view also. So anyway, I will come to that stage area point of view when I will put my that, that. So that's all about the speech. So now I come to uh, my overall uh, speech evaluation. Uh, so before that we can uh, go for our tag team uh, uh, report. Uh, so first I will call the grammar in of the day. First Master Madhu. So language usage uh, I didn't find any uh, misuses. Uh, word of the day to two of them is Pranav and uh, Arjun Bruce. Direct initiative and critical support. And then uh, some, uh, some good words were to use, like uh, catalyst, and then uh, initiating versus chasing, and then whatever you think becomes the reality, start with the end in your the mind. These are the things I okay. So, thank you very much, Postmaster Madhu. Uh, so, for your wonderful. Uh, Grammar in report. So, for only suggestion for you, uh, not on the meeting, before meeting. Uh, so, you have the responsibility also when now we have the report. I think again I tell you, uh, this is for overall meeting improvement, not only for this because uh, we are starting the club. Uh, so, I think good actually we have started this board actually. Uh, whether PMOD or someone uh, who runs that. So, when we are doing man of the day, means man of the day, and put some, exa some example sentence. That will be good. So whenever people are somebody coming late, or else the speaker also can understand that. So that is the whole thing. Uh, I think probably I think we are doing our. Uh, I think we are improving our club quality and at the same time new things. So probably you can add for the praise of the day uh, because nowadays uh, people are allowed to use the praise actually. So use some praise. Uh, so that will also value order for our meeting. So otherwise you have done amazing job. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey guys, I'm back with my report today again. So there were 10 crutch words used in the whole meeting process. So there were 10 crutch words used, 10 repetitive words, one awkward pause, and seven filler words, out of which I've only divided into major parts like the speaker one and the table topic session. Speaker, uh, it was amazing session, and I literally had to you know, pinpoint the mistakes or the words. You know. So there were two crutch words, three repetitive words, and one filler word, and that is amazing. You know. I really like to appreciate. It. And then the whole of table topic session was contained. You know, two crutch words. No, it was three crutch words, four repetitive words, two filler words, and one pause. That's all. thank you.
So thank you very much uh, for the uh, But I, I really like actually, I think maybe your club uh, at least I think so, giving uh, summary uh, instead of giving for individual people uh, count. Yeah, it, I mean, this is a true benefit. I think as, it looks like for it's a collective effort for us at club. At the same time, that speaker also will have feedback. Uh, but at the same time, suggestion, please speak, share with the individual person what they need to include uh, one to one. So that really will help. So one more thing, probably you can suggest how you can uh, avoid. You can give some tips actually. So probably I will give the tips actually uh, for avoiding. Uh, 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 because now I was struggling because I did not because this is impromptu. And so that's why I was uh, finding the hunting the bear. So I was giving more uh, more passes. So probably you can do proper little bit pause. You can think uh, two second or three second. Operates you can continue. At the same time, make very simple uh, the bars. So that also will help. There are other tips actually. Uh, probably so. Next time you suggest whenever you are taking a account account, whatever you feel as your experience, you can share with us so people can uh, implement next week. So otherwise, you have an amazing job. Uh, so thank you very much for the now. Um, so listen to the finally. Uh, so I will come call you late later. So please time up please. So here are your tools for the speaker, for me. Your timing was just the, the speech and um, was really good, especially the way you described the way your energy was really good. For the timing, it was around 7 minutes to 20 seconds, which was really pretty close, but yeah, it would be a lot of time. And for the table topics and all, everyone was within the time. Uh, only for, I have four problems, for the winner. It was, it went around, it went a little over, it was around 2 minutes to 11 seconds. And for every other people, it was within the duration of one minute to two minutes. Yeah, for the feedback which uh, Arun provided, right? Uh, that was around for uh, yeah two, two, uh, two minutes and fifty minutes. Two fifty nine seconds. And for Pani Arjun, it was around uh, two minutes thirty and not over. That's all. You become round of last years you think you can do it. Thank you very much. Uh, keep it up. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it, first time you were taking it. Uh, so I think going forward you can uh, improve or more than when you were explaining. So, uh, but I think you were done amazing. So one thing what probably you can do, just you can tell something something about interesting about timing actually. So it's it will in, uh, increase your stage time also. You will get more. Uh, more confident on it. So that's all the just suggestion is just icing on the cake. That's all. Okay. okay. So that's all about the tag team. So now I will start uh, overall the me meeting evaluation. Meeting starting. Uh, so I think meeting uh, we have scheduled for 10 30, but I found actually a uh, lot of lot of them reach here at 10 o'clock and arrange a lot of the logistic uh, arrangements. When I reach for a 9 at 10 o'clock, I think the chat was arranged very well. Uh, so thank you Pushpender for it actually. Uh, so afterwards I think uh, Pradeep came and did that for obviously. So I think few, few helping hand also joined with me. I think the 10, 20, 25 we have arranged actually that one. So I think it's a very rare case in the pre charter meeting this much uh, uh, set up. I think Sonam has the biggest yeah. experience to uh, Toastmaster. It's a really uh, good work actually. Thank you very much guys. Big, you, big round of applause. <laughs> So please uh, do the good work. Uh, I think it will also help uh, keep the momentum. So next I will start essay. Uh, essay. Uh, so before that, I think we are supposed to start meeting 10:30, but we started 11 o'clock. Uh, so because I think uh, I think few of them are late actually. Uh, yeah, its timing is very much important. I know because we are coming from far, uh, far away. At the same time, few of them may have some other commitment in that. Yeah, I think we can work on that as a club and we will start soft then that is uh, yeah, that is a logic option. So yeah, that is one thing we need to work immediately on that from next week onwards. So next I will start about SCA. Uh, I think uh, there is always room of improvement. I start with my general evaluator. I think I can see that uh, improvement compared to your uh, last week. I think whatever uh, previous general evaluator suggests, 
I think you implemented, you also very clearly explained about uh, uh, ground rule and you uh, introduced that to the city officer also. It's really good. One more thing I really like about you mentioned about the club mission also. So, how the postmaster uh, will help on that. Okay, so that really nice. Uh, my only suggestion uh, for you um, I think the ground rule, I think you missed about them switch off the mobile actually. Uh, so, that is very much important because uh, so that please add actually you know, for that. Uh, also, please make sure I think you move close that before you start the meeting. Uh, so, also inform people I think don't uh, move while speaker on the speak, uh, while speaker on the stage. So, this is one, two things. So, one more thing, what you can challenge actually. Uh, one thing you can challenge, put little bit energy on that. Uh, so, be little bit on the practice and uh, be confident and uh, put little bit energy. Uh, so, in this case, what I suggest you, you can also prepare something for quickly one minute to uh, some motivation or else you can do some activity. So, if you are, uh, so for me also motivation is not my cup of tea. So, what I used to do, I used to do for some small activity like uh, uh, clap your hand or else you high fly, uh, something interesting. So, what will happen is that automatically you also be very uh, uh, energy and the crowd also always will be. So, that way you just you challenge yourself. Okay, so otherwise you get an amazing job. Guys, please be, give big one. Next, I think I will come to that listening officer. Yeah, I really appreciate you also. I think I use that. This is a, uh, I mean, uh, good thing about Toastmaster. Whatever you are, we have got last week uh, feedback. We always implemented as uh, we, we, we think positive and we already implemented. Yeah, so you introduced, you, you spoken about Toastmaster very well. At the same time, when guest came, I think you were, uh, you were repeated also. I hope, I think, uh, he understood about that. Uh, no, I, 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 yeah, it was my first question. Yeah, exactly. So, I think you repeated, uh, so the presence of mind actually. So, that, that came when you were doing more practice actually. So, you've done amazing, amazing job. Uh, so, I, I don't have anything uh, uh, for you about uh, uh, any uh, improvement. So, one thing you can challenge yourself. Uh, yeah, one thing uh, so I always don't take for a TMOD stopping. Because TMOD may have uh, some plan about uh, introduction actually. So, when we started about uh, uh, introduction, the people already started to speak about it. So, when he or she uh, will start, so that time again people will feel okay, yeah, I think same thing same next time. Yeah. So, instead of the motivation speech, or else you can uh, take some other uh, topic in the particular week happen. Uh, otherwise, you can tell something the club achieve or something. So, that is the only suggestion uh, so for you. So, apart from you have done amazing, you have introduced this uh, Sonal also, so very well, that is very much important. Uh, so, thank you very much. So, guys, do this. <laughs> Yeah, next to TMOD. Yeah, TMOD, I think you have done amazing whatever need TMOD. So, TMOD, you introduced very well on uh, the speaker, on the role taker, with very, uh, uh, very confidently. Hmm? Uh, you want to say something? Oh, uh, what's the full form of TMOD? Yeah, sorry, that's my bad. I think I need to tell clearly. Okay, thank you very much for asking. TMOD means Postmaster of the Day. Okay, so the person responsibility who hosts the whole entire meeting. So, if you find any uh, reality so shows... So, if you need a moment. Yeah, post, exactly. Mm -hmm. The person who trans the, take the role, I think, you see today, I think... So, so why don't we replace that whole afternoon with a moment? See, we will take a straight up, we shouldn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but good question, uh, we will explain it. Okay. So, you are clear about that? Yes. Okay, yeah. I think you have done well. Uh, so, we have... Uh, so I will try to uh, because PMO is very much important transition. So you have managed very well on the transition. So when uh, once the PMO uh, you have spoken about the first of the day, you introduced me also very well. Uh, so afterwards, uh, that when you call that uh, Pradeep and that uh, Aravind and Kitya. So I can find for well balance about the introduction. There is a no sama. Usually people can sometimes do, okay, division director do too many uh, juggling about here. So, if you come to the speaker, it will go for simple introduction, but you have done well, you have done very good uh, uh, preparation on that. So, second thing that whole energy actually. So, when you start a life, you have, you are on the floor actually, the team and you from heart. 
there is nothing uh, like uh, anything so you you, you well you, you, you done well actually uh, thing I, i don't have any uh, room of improvement for your team uh, session so you have done amazing uh, thing uh, so one more what you can do exactly uh, what i found actually uh, sometimes when they are starting to answer but you take it immediately and you have uh, started to tell us something so you may use some more uh, seconds or uh, minutes for them to uh, tell that uh, so that's the one thing actually there is also my opinion uh, so apart from you have done amazing job i think today i think i have found very good understanding between uh, uh, presiding officer and dm team so you guys are not taking uh, their own or your own uh, so what he he spoken about the smart stuff today you you avoid you just started about what is the first master uh, uh, so you have done an amazing job so keep it up uh, all the very best for your future <laughs> next table topic master wow so the next session uh, so what really i like that energy the moment when you started to come when you were uh, you went at the top main thing there are couple of things what you test table topic master you were done amazing so you came here and you explain uh, about how to table topic is very much important so you explain very well uh, also uh, you you call that experience host master so that's why that the guest can uh, uh, understand and they can very much comfortable on that okay what is going on what is table topic so you have done well uh, so also your topics also awesome uh, so each topic were very unique uh, i think that topic is a very you know the moderate actually it's not very tough at the same time it's not very easy like what is your first what is your memory uh, what is your school memory and that <laughs> like that it's very simple like that. it's very simple at the same time some insight food also so i can see each and every one they are enjoying uh for you there is a one thing what you can challenge yourself but you have done second part of your uh, table talk after a guest uh, you said you were opinion on the topic or else you was telling yeah i agree uh, so you was very much engaged with them actually but you could do that one from first speaker always when first speaker is completed so that time yeah yes uh, kind of things okay yeah it's really nice yeah you, uh, you can quickly you can tell i mean to be uh, some second you can take and you can tell yeah so i have also faced that one so because that will help you also some the presence of mind uh, there is a one project active listener there is a one project is there in pathway so the objective of you are the table topic master at the same time you need to evolve you need to evolve with the speaker also so that one thing you can uh, work on that uh, one more small suggestion uh, you can uh, tell uh, speakers a uh, table topic this is a one to two uh, one minute to two minutes we uh, have somebody uh, join later guess to most of they are not our actually so it will be done for uh, one more thing you can more you can you can tell the wire up today Uh, motivate uh, people to. Uh, so this is, I think, overall uh, the suggestion for everybody for us to club need to uh, take care of that. Uh, so this is about table topic master. Table topic speaker is awesome actually. So even guest actually is not an amazing. Um, uh, seriously, so the, the I think you take that point actually very. You spoken very logically actually. So why that like that actually? I really like that. Uh, your flow is completely good. Uh, uh, completely good at it, but it just this, yeah, 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 yeah,
Apart from that, I think we need to motivate more guests to participate uh, at club meeting. As a club, I think uh, we need to think on that. So yeah, this is the my general evaluation. So before that, I will call listener. <laughs> Thank you very much.